Hello, that's Hello from SevilleWeatherTV.com with the Seville Weather Outlook for the 13th of October. So what is happening in the Atlantic? We've got Hurricane Gonzalo. In the Central Pacific, we have a new tropical depression, number two. And in the Northwest Pacific, we've got Vong Fong. So Mexico today, we've got the possibility for strong to very strong rains in this part. In the United States, there's quite large area with a risk of severe thunderstorms today. And in Canada, there's a mixture of warnings for winds, warnings for rain and snowfall. And frankly, I have no idea which one of these is the above things, right? Very helpful. In the land of tropical cyclones, so basically what is going on, Faye, Faye out here, Faye is gone. Faye has dissipated. We've got Hurricane Gonzalo. We've got this new tropical depression number two, which is going to be apparently a category one hurricane some point in the future. And then we've got Vong Fong. So starting with Gonzalo, Land hazards on this one, dangerous winds, obviously, rainfall, storm surge, dangerous surf conditions. And here's some satellite views of this storm. Here is the watch warning map. So at the moment, tropical storm warnings in effect for this area, hurricane warnings in effect for the red area, and hurricane watches in effect for the purple area. So that is Gonzalo. So obviously a land, very much a land hazard at the moment. And then there's 2C, 2C at the moment, far enough away from land. But this thing could potentially be a problem for Hawaii in the future, depending on if it maintains its current projected trajectory. And it's projected to be a Category 1 hurricane at that point. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Then there is Vong Fong. Vong Fong kind of going to be going extra tropical pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. For an example here, some of the warnings and advisories, in fact, so heavy rain, floods, gale warnings, in fact, storm warnings, high waves, believe there we go, heavy rains, Storm, high waves, yeah, flood, stuff like that is occurring at the moment. In the United States, here's an overview of the severe thunderstorm threat for the next few days. So this is the first day, I should put out, in a while that we've had a moderate risk, I do believe. Here's what is happening at the moment, so kind of a mixture of everything. Four tornado warnings, in effect, kind of part of this line of storms. Oh, apparently now five. There's a new one, a new one out there. 13 severe thunderstorm warnings all up and down this, what would that be? Would this be pretty much a QLCS, quasi-linear convective system? And then four special marine warnings out there and then out there in Hawaii. In general today, pretty freaking high chance for a tornado. 15%, that is the highest number we've seen in quite some time. To put it in perspective, on tornado outbreak type days, you might see 45%. I don't believe I've ever seen a a 60 but 15, 15 is definitely, you've got to respect that number and pay attention. Wind chance, 45% chance for the 58 mile per hour and greater winds for that area. But hail wise, for some reason, just a 5% chance. So mostly it's all about the damaging winds and the tornado threat with that line of storms. Tomorrow, 15% chance for severe thunderstorms. And that is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.